My name's Mark Ward and I'm an artist based here in London. I'm currently preparing for my upcoming solo show called As Seen On TV at the Chemistry Gallery in Shoreditch. So I was a child of the 80s, so I grew up watching like classic TV at that time, like uh, Sesame Street, Fraggle Rock, The Muppet Show, Looney Tunes. I was always drawing as a kid. I used to lie in front of the TV, like drawing characters that I saw on the screen. British TV started airing NFL coverage, and I thought that was the coolest thing at the time. This really bright coloured brash sport came from the same place, these cartoons that I loved so much. I loved all the logos and everything to do with it. I really wanted to go to America just, just to see what it was like over there. We didn't have internet at the time in the 80s, so we were just catching fragments of this American lifestyle that um, I was putting together in my own head. So when I discovered skating, I was instantly in love with the whole culture of it, from uh, the board graphics to the way you felt when you landed new stuff. Uh, but again, the, the roots of skating uh, is based in California, so that just made me even more curious about the whole American way of life and the culture around it. My local skate spot was uh, Fairfield and Croydon. There was plenty of talent down there. I remember watching uh, Paul Shire and John Rattray doing amazing tricks. Uh, Shire with his inside out blunt slides on the blocks and Rattray doing ridiculous combos. I found skating with those guys so inspiring because they were, they were from home turf. They weren't the cliche Venice Beach skater skating perfect marble ledges. They were skating the same blocks as me but just managing to pull way better tricks out of their bag than I was. My vision of America was a misguided one. It was one built on cartoons and vastly sports logos and Happy Meal toys. Now that I've been to America and I can check the latest skate video anytime I want on the internet, that excitement that I associated with America has changed. It's still a massive influence on my artwork, but I'm trying to portray that excitement and what it meant to me with my everyday reality through this show.